So the worst pain comes from those you trusted and loved and you were vulnerable with and they uh, um, used you. They used you. I don't even, what the hell? They're, they're, trying to, they're trying to get me to shut up right now because, you know, they don't, they probably will feel this in the morning. But you were vulnerable and in a, in a space of weakness and they took advantage of you and all that stuff like that. And that was the biggest heartbreak when you found out who exactly did it, like all the love and respect and stuff you have for this person instead of you taking revenge because you're not like them. Um... Like, they're just envious and upset because in order to get out of a contract that they're in, they feel like they feel like they have so much more to live for. And just because they wanted to be happy, they settled for something. And now, so yeah, it's just this, <laughs> everybody is going through the same thing right now. And when you're... Like, even yourself, you're going through a situation. I'm Okay, I'm going through a situation, this third-party situation, and my family. And because the shoe fits, people are taking offense to it. But if I'm telling you to mind your own business and fall back and I'm trying to protect you from all of this stuff, and you're not doing that, you're giving this third-party situation, you're giving this karmic click the answers. You're giving them the answers on how to destroy me. And by me being able to turn the tables and give you your karma, I don't know. Because it's like, I'm not doing it. It's the universe that is saying like, okay, you know, but I'm not taking people and making them do something, manipulating us. I'm... I'm clearing my name, washing my hands of the BS, and I'm standing up for myself. And then, now that you didn't get the reaction that you wanted, but heartache, heartache is the biggest thing that could kill. Like, like, like that. That's yeah. That's the that's the worst pain that you could feel. But you made it through, and the way you handled yourself, even like, because family holds something great to you. Like, and then they feel like if you don't. If you're not moved by it, that your family doesn't mean anything to you. They don't hold any value to you. But family needs to mind their business, especially if you're telling them, like, I got this if I ask for help. But they would rather try to barge in as if you didn't have it. Like, shorty... The only reason why I don't get it is because you're interfering and I have to, you know, try to rearrange some things so you don't. And then, yeah, that's what they want you to do. They want you to misplace your stuff so you. But it's like, why would I allow you in my. Come here. Why would I allow you in my space then? So don't be acting all funny. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're acting. They don't care about you. They like seeing you like this. And then by. by you removing yourself from the situation, they have nothing. So now all of that jokes and then stuff, it gets turned on them because they don't have anything to focus on. So they need to focus on themselves. But they don't want to focus on themselves because they have to, they can't. Yeah. You love and respect your family, so you're not going to be disrespectful because. They they feel like it's because you need them because if you if you don't have if you're homeless meaning you don't own your own home or you don't you're not in your own apartment like paying your own rent and stuff if you're dependent on somebody for housing they feel like they have authority over you and that they could play mind games with you because you're just going to sit there and take it you you can't defend yourself or anything like that but it's like you were rather in communication with them and then they feel like if you in communication with them then you're gonna get kicked out but also people can pretend you know the false mask stuff so if you live with your grandparents and their children they have a big family dynamic they're the ones sending you that negative energy and then 
you have faith in your grandparents and they're saying, yeah, you only got faith in us because uh, you need us because you don't have anywhere to go. And it's like, don't you think that when y'all die, I'm, I'm not going to be able to stay here. So don't you think that I would want to get on my feet? So then the bad seed in the family takes that information and transfers it as you want them to die so you can have the place. And it's like, what? What are y'all talking about? It's just a lot of manipulated because it's just a lot of like parents know how to manipulate the kids. And if kids are sick enough, they know how to manipulate the parents because the very person that took care of me with all like I'm still alive I think that's that's that is that I was taking good care of even though I may have some mental issues there are people out there that will help you like because I can't help you if I don't even know how to help myself so it, it doesn't matter that they have their own house like that's all they know how to do is work because that's all they had to do and nobody should be blaming anybody. Everybody should just just share information so that, okay, I'm young, I could do this. Okay, so now, guess what? I got this, this, and that. And then from that outcome, you as the parent could probably take five months off and not do anything. Go on vacation for three months and not do anything because you have paid vacation, paid this and paid that. You have somebody that is, that'll that be at your home, taking care of your home for those three months. Like, everybody want to spend somebody else's money, but when it comes to you being a money per, you know, you don't want to, I don't want to give her my money, but you would take her money. Oh, Trying to smooth talk to you so you, so yeah, before the no contact, this this is saying how they, how they finessed you. So now that you're aware of how the signs go, you can know how to nip it in the bud and be like, okay, I, yeah, you got to nip it in the bud. You can't, you can't let somebody talk to you a type of ways and then you go home and be like, look, I feel like I'm going to send you a, a long text. You have to tell them to their face. Like, but then, yeah, they know that some people are incapable of doing that, but don't give up celebrate and they're upset so yeah kids they're jealous they don't care how old you are who you are or whatever if i'm staying with my grandparents and they have like two kids it doesn't matter if those kids have their own place if they got good money or whatever you're getting attention from my mom or you're staying in my mom's house and all that stuff like that. And it's like, well, okay, bye, bye, bye.